Hi, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed those interviews and learned a little bit about the creative process that's involved in putting together a musical. You know, for the past several weeks, we've kind of put a spotlight on the composers and the directors. So I would feel bad if we didn't mention the composer and lyricist for Peter Pan. Now, the composer is a man named Joel Stein, who did a lot of work in the theater, as well as a songwriting team by the name of Betty Comden and Adolf Green, who were the lyricists. Now, Betty Comden and Adolf Green did a lot of writing for not only the theater, but for movies. It was Hollywood's golden time, and they were writers for some of our most beloved um, musicals, musical movies, including one of my favorite, Singing in the Rain. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the director and choreographer of um, Peter Pan. He was a man named Jerome Robbins, who is a legendary choreographer and director who brought us Fiddler on the Roof and, most importantly, West Side Story. He loved Peter Pan, and he tried it out um, before it went to Broadway and realized that it wasn't very successful, that something wasn't working for the audience. So he brought in um, Betty Comden and Adolph Green to kind of spice up the music and the lyrics. And he also added a final scene, which he thought helped make the Peter Pan story a little more important. It was because of Joan Robbins that at the very end of Peter Pan, Peter comes back to the nursery and he has that beautiful encounter with a grown-up Wendy and her daughter Jane. Now, it is Wild Whimsical Wednesday, and that means we really like to focus on the power of words and the wonder of writing. So if you look in the link below, there's a lot of opportunities for you to continue with your with your journals. There's some wonderful writing prompts that I think will get those imaginations soaring. But I also wanted to include another challenge. It's a design challenge. So your job this week is to imagine what would you do if you were tasked with having to design Peter Pan. So I'd like you to pick one of the scenes from Peter Pan and imagine what it would look like. So you can look at the nursery or you could look at Neverland itself, Peter's house, and possibly Captain Hook's ship the Jolly Roger. So you can take a simple shoe box or a box um, and try to create a model, which would be a really fun way to do it. Maybe some Legos and create a Lego set. Or maybe you can just draw it and do something called a rendering, which is when you think of it in your head and you put it on paper. Now, if you are interested in set design, you might also be curious about costume design. So if you're really ambitious, I would love for you to think of some of the characters in Peter Pan. And what do you think that they should be wearing? What do the Lost Boys look like? What color and texture of fab fabric should they have? Peter. Peter is always um, seems to be in leggings or tights and a tunic that's made of green. But in your mind, how do you see Peter? Does he have that jaunty cap or does he have something completely different? So take your time and think about um, designing. Think about color, think about fabric, texture. Um, if you're designing the set, think of the space that you need. Sometimes when you are designing for the theater, you want to think about levels. Are you, are you um, designing for a theater that's in the round or the audience surrounds Peter and Neverland and that world? Or is it a proscenium stage where the audience is on the one side and the stage is on the other? Maybe it's even divided by a curtain. So use this opportunity to put those design skills into action. We would love to see some of the things that you've created. So if you want to post them in the comments below, photos or sketches, we would really love that. 
Now, before we go today, we need to sing our goodbye song. And in order to do that, we need to transform into our pirates. So could I, on the count of three, see your best pirate face? One, two, three. Arr! Could everyone say, arr, arr? Beautifully done. Okay, are we ready? Ho's the very best class in the land. That'd be us. That'd be us. Who's the coolest in school and is ready to rule? That'd be us. That'd be us. Actors who share their hearts. A singers who sing. A dancers who tap their toes. And kids who will do anything. Anything. Flying, sighing, that'd be us. Arg.